Hello everyone, this is Dr. Ashish Ulmai and this is video number 4 in the series of image transform. Now this time we have a slightly different problem and the question is something like this. Three column vectors are given below. Phi 0 which is nothing but W raise to 0, W raise to 0, W raise to 0. Phi 1 that is a column vector W raise to 0, W raise to 1, W raise to 2 and phi 2 that is the column vector w raise to 0, w raise to 2, w raise to 4 where w is equal to e raise to minus j 2 pi by 4 and the question is prove that that they are orthogonal and using these vectors generate 3 cross 3 9 orthogonal patterns that means first we need to prove that phi 0, phi 1 and phi 2 are orthogonal to each other and then generate the nine orthogonal patterns. So these nine orthogonal patterns are nothing but the basis images, what we can see. So if you observe carefully over here, uh, this is nothing but the three column vectors or of the fiddle factor matrix of size three. Okay, so it's a kind of a, a n is equal to three DFT that we are talking about over here. So let's go for the first part. Now over here, uh, if you observe carefully, W is e raised to minus j 2 pi by 3. So for simplicity, one can write that uh, also as 1 angle minus 2 pi by 3. So if we go for W raised to n, that will become e raised to minus j n 2 pi by 3, which will can be written as 1 angle minus n 2 pi by 3. And uh, if you observe carefully, then w n conjugate will be same as w raised to minus n. So, if you want to prove the orthogonal, actually there can be two different ways. Okay. So, let's first go for method 1. So, if we have two vectors a and b, okay, then these vectors can be said to be orthogonal if their dot product or we can say inner product Okay, that is A inner product with B or A dot product with B is 0 if A is not equal to B and it is K if A is equal to B where K is a constant and if this constant is 1 then we call them as orthonormal. Okay, also for uh, complex vectors A and B the dot product is defined as summation over I AI bi conjugate okay so over here we have conjugation of the second term when we go for the dot product of complex vectors okay for real vectors of course a b conjugate and b will be same and also uh, always remember the property of the dot product okay that dot product is conjugate linear it's not linear but it's conjugate linear so over here if you have a dot product of a with b and if you compare with the dot product of b with a then it will be same as conjugation of b with a okay so please remember this property so now let's go one by one so what we need to do is find a dot product of phi 0 with phi 1 phi 2 uh, similarly phi 1 with phi 0 phi 1 phi 2 and so on and prove that they are zero if the two vectors are not same and there will be some constant if both are so if we start, uh, we will have, sorry, dot product of phi 0 with phi 0, that will be row vector phi 0 multiplied by column vector of phi 0 with the conjugation. Don't forget this conjugate term, okay. So over here it will be w0, 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 that is a row vector multiplied with, now if I take the conjugate of this, it will be still column vector w0, w0, w0. So if we multiply these two, it will become w0 plus w raise to 0 plus w raise to 0 and the value of w raise to 0 is 1 so it will be 1 plus 1 plus 1 that is equal to 3 now if i go for dot product of phi 0 with phi 1 so i will have phi 0 as a row vector over here and phi 1 will be column vector over here with conjugation so if i take the conjugate of this column vector it will become w raise to 0 w raise to minus 1 w raise to minus 2 and now multiply this with this 
will get it as w raised to 0 plus w raised to minus 1 plus w raised to minus 2. So if you substitute the values, w raised to 0 will be 1, w raised to minus 1 will be 1 angle 2 pi by 3, w raised to minus 2 will be 1 angle 4 pi by 3. And if we uh, sum it up together, okay, so you can use your calculator, so you will find that this sum turns out to be 0. Now if you go for phi, dot product of phi 0 with phi 2. So over here phi 0 will be my row vector and phi 2 will be my column vector and don't forget this conjugation. So over here when I conjugate this column vector I will get it at w raised to 0, w raised to minus 2, w raised to minus 4. And now if I multiply this row vector with this column vector I will get it as w raised to 0 plus w raised to minus 2 plus w raised to minus 4. Substituting the values, we will get it as 1 plus w raised to minus 2 is 1 angle 4 pi by 3 and w raised to minus 4 is 1 angle 8 pi by 3. And again if you find the sum, the sum turns out to be 0. Now whatever we have done over here, we keep phi 0 as the first vector and we have varied the values of the second vector. Now we need to keep phi 1 as the first vector and vary the value of the second vector. So over here I will have dot product of phi 1 with phi 0, phi 1 with phi 1 and phi 1 with phi 2. So when I go for dot product of phi 1 with phi 0, now I can use that uh, conjugate linearity property. So I can write it as phi 0 uh, dot product of phi 0 with phi 1 conjugate. And this one we have already found that its value is 0. So conjugate is also 0. Now when I go for phi 1 with phi 1, I will have a phi 1 as a row vector over here. Also phi 1 as a column vector over here with conjugation. The conjugation will have w raised to 0, w raised to minus 1 and w raised to minus 2 terms. Again if we multiply them, we will get the values as w raised to 0 plus w raised to 0 plus w raised to 0 which is same as 1 plus 1 plus 1. So value over here is 3. And now when I go for dot product of phi 1 with phi 2, I will have phi 1 as a row vector, phi 2 as a column vector with the conjugation, this is a conjugated vector, this is the product, this is what we will get after substituting the values and the result will be 0. Same thing we can now do with phi 2 as a first vector and remaining will be my second vector. So phi 2 dot product with phi 0, if we again use the conjugation property will be dot product of phi 0 with phi 2 conjugate and this value is 0. Similarly phi 2 dot product with phi 1 is same as phi 1 dot product with phi 2 with conjugation that is again 0 and then dot product of phi 2 with phi 2. So if you substitute and find the value again this value is 3. So if you observe carefully, okay, my dot product of phi i with phi j is 0 if i is not equal to j and this value is 3 when i is equal to j. So this means that phi 0, phi 1 and phi 2 are orthogonal to each other. Now this is a kind of a lengthy process that we have taken up. Okay, So if we shorten up, we can have a method to something like this. So consider a matrix phi which consists of column vector phi 0, phi 1 and phi 2. Okay, So this is what the matrix I will get. So this is my phi 0, phi 1 and phi 2. Now to prove that my phi 0, phi 1, phi 2 are orthogonal to each other, okay, I simply need to prove that matrix phi multiplied with phi conjugate transpose is equal to ki, where k is a constant and i is a identity matrix. So if we start with it, so I have phi, phi conjugate transpose, so substitute for matrix phi and then I have a conjugate transpose to be found over here. So if you observe carefully for this matrix, if I take the conjugate, okay, the powers, whatever positive powers, they will become negative. So I will have w raised to 0 in the first row, second row will be w raised to 0, w raised to minus 1, w raised to minus 2. 
third row will become w raised to 0, w raised to minus 2, w raised to minus 4. And now we know, need to find the transpose of this matrix. And this matrix is symmetric. Okay. So the transpose will be same of what we have over here. So now we need to multiply this matrix with this matrix. So it's a normal matrix multiplication that we will carry out. So multiply them. Okay. So you will get terms like this. And then substitute their values. Okay. So if you substitute the values and then find the final answer, you will get that answers as 3, 0, 0, 0, 3, 0, 0, 0, 3. If you take that 3 common, you will get it as 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, oh, sorry, 0, 1, 0 and 0, 0, 1. So this matrix is nothing but the identity matrix. So this is nothing but 3i. So this automatically proves that my phi is orthogonal. Now to find the second part, that is the 3 cross 3, 9 orthogonal patterns, we simply need to find the basis images of phi. Okay, so again we can apply the same strategy. So phi is my transformation matrix. Find out what is your phi conjugate transpose and whatever the column vectors of that, that you can write over here. So this is my first column vector, this is my second column vector and third column vector of this trans conjugate transpose of capital phi. And whatever the column vectors over here, I have these are the transpose that is the row vectors over here. Multiply them point by point, and we can generate the nine orthogonal basis vectors. Thank you.